Hello viewers, uh, welcome again. Uh, this was a request made to me to solve this problem on fluid mechanics. Uh, see, it's quite complicated though. Uh, so there is a rectangular hole of dimension A into B cut in a horizontal bottom of the large vessel. You just read this problem. I'll uh, show the three dimensional diagram of what it is. So what I am drawing is the base of this plate. I mean, I'm drawing this one and there is a rectangular hole like this. So the rectangular hole has size A into B. So that's B. Uh, that's B and this side is equal to A and here a uh, box has to fit in right uh, cuboidal block of dimensions B into C into C had to fit in so that's a cuboidal block I'll again show by the three dimensional triangle this is the cuboidal box See this side happens to be called to B so that uh, this box will actually fit into the hole. So and each of the sides, I mean the face uh, has each side C. Face is a square, right? Now, uh, now a uh, liquid of density rho is slowly poured in the vessel. What should be the mass aim of the block so that the hole always remains closed? irrespective of the uh, level of liquid in the vessel so that means you have to find out the mass m so that uh, the weight mg happens to be equal to the maximum up thrust f max so here remember one thing here the entire lower part of the solid is not submerged i mean it's, it's uh, not submerged in liquid so buoyant force will not act so that's not buoyant force that is why i said that uh, so this f max or this f is equal to the net up thrust that the liquid applies on the solid so the thrust forces acts from these surfaces and also if there is liquid on the top say uh, the thrust force will act from the top surface and the uh, net thrust force that is the vector sum of all these thrust forces will be upward that is f so f max is the maximum uh, thrust force that the liquid will apply on this block now how to calculate the up thrust or the thrust force now so let's uh, revisit buoyancy so from where does buoyancy come so suppose this is a liquid say i take a uh, partly submerged cylinder for simplicity so on this cylinder see what is the thrust force here see I'll neglect the atmospheric pressure why because atmospheric pressure acts from the top and the bottom both so I'll calculate the thrust force F due to the liquid pressure only neglecting the atmospheric pressure so the thrust force f so that's equal to the buoyant force obviously so there the thrust force is equal to the uh, this much volume so uh, weight of this much volume so see i have colored it blue so this much weight w w is equal to f so same for this if you revisit this uh, thing figure so there it is and this is a block here uh, that's a block I mean this is the, uh, the hole rectangular hole so now let us calculate the thrust force now let's say water is up to uh, this level say water is up to this level that level okay now what will happen so what is the thrust force say on the lower part this part say the net force so this force will have a horizontal and a vertical component also and see if you consider these two surfaces then obviously the horizontal components will cancel 
and the net thrust force will be upward. So this, suppose this force is F, so I am calculating Fy, I mean on this right part only. Now, so thrust force on this part of the surface, see remember this part of the surface, uh, let me color this, say this blue, okay. So thrust force on this part of the surface is equal to the weight of this much liquid, right? It is equal to weight of this much liquid. Let me color that also. So it is equal to weight of uh, that much liquid, right? Volume of this much liquid. Oh, uh, there is a thickness here, right? So the thickness into the plane of the paper uh, here is equal to uh, B. Okay, never mind. So this much weight. So this much weight. So weight of this much liquid is equal to Fy. Fy is weight of this much liquid. And uh, the force from the top. The force from the top. Is this. So that is the weight of how much liquid. That is the weight of liquid here. This upper part. Okay. So I can make the diagram bigger. For this. Take another page. So that is it. Yeah. Now there lies the that's a hole. And suppose liquid is I, I mean that is a free surface of the liquid. This one, okay. That is the free surface of the liquid. Now I'll calculate the force. First force on this part say it is F, thrust force is F, so I am calculating Fy. So Fy, I have told that Fy is equal to weight of uh, this much volume, weight of the liquid on top. Okay. So name this liquid part uh, say 1 or say this uh, weight of this part is W. So W is equal to Fy, the vertical component of the thrust force on that surface. Okay. Same way you have a counterpart here also. By the way, so that will just uh, double up. Uh, now. Let us calculate force on this upper part. So force, the thrust force on this upper part is equal to weight of this portion of the liquid, right? This entire portion of the liquid. So that means, uh, yeah, so that's equal to, say the force is F dash. So the vertical component is Fy dash. So, uh, what is the net up thrust or net thrust is equal to Fy, mi uh, Fy minus Fy dash, the whole thing will be multiplied by 2 because you have a counterpart on this side also similar. Now, so uh, it is weight of this part minus weight of this part so this so this common part will cancel out so let us uh, shade this in gray this common part this will cancel out so what happens really the force i mean the net force net force is equal to say weight of this part of the liquid Uh, minus weight of that uh, red triangle it's not a triangle it's a prism actually you have that depth y uh, that depth is actually b which is into the plane of this paper 
So that is the net force and that two multiplied by two. This whole thing multiplied by two. So so weight of this part W minus W dash multiplied by two. Now uh, what do you think? What will be the maximum force or under what condition the force the net force will be maximum? See this triangle. This part is constant always. So actually the maximum up thrust will be under that condition when this W dash is equal to zero. So what does that mean? When is the force maximum? When the water level is up to this? So that's the whole point in the problem. That means, see just go through this. That means uh, the up thrust on this block cuboidal block is maximum when the free surface of water is such that this line joining this point to this point is vertical so let me draw it again so condition when the uh, net thrust is maximum Condition is that just uh, draw a vertical line obviously those two symmetrically so this this will be the free surface of the liquid so how do you calculate the net uh, just net this much so the net up thrust is equal to volume of this plus this part of the liquid so let's so you can calculate volume of this part plus this part so it is volume of each of this part multiplied by 2 so the net up thrust so calculate volume so what will be volume equal to you know uh, that's I think this is C by root 2 right this happens to be c by root 2 and this happens to be a by 2 so this is c by root 2 minus a by 2 and uh, and you also know this right this side and you can calculate this also or you can calculate this this is simple geometry ha, this I have calculated so you can also calculate this height H, so I'll leave this calculation up to you. So this V, calculate this V, and then equate mg is equal to. I mean, uh, V means sum of the volume of these two parts. Okay, so this mg is equal to V rho g, and this is how you calculate m. So do the calculation yourself. I hope this hint was 